Uh, I'm, I'm Mike Foltz. Uh, I was an engineer for Bell Helicopter in the 50s and 60s. In early 60s, uh, we needed, uh, well, Hueys were, were fighting in Vietnam and needed some some uh, weapon system support and uh, didn't have anything. And I got this idea to modify a Huey. A Huey was in, in the Army inventory and the Army can buy a modified aircraft because we had built the UH-1A and the B and the C and the D and the E. And I said, let's build another one. So I made a three-view drawing, uh, started making a three-view drawing of, a, of the Cobra. Assistant VP of Marketing came up and saw it on my board and asked me about it. And he went down and got the VP of Marketing and he came up and uh, he saw what I had done and asked me some questions. And, asked me if I could put some dimensions on and have it finished Monday morning. And so I worked Saturday and Sunday. And Monday morning, about five minutes after eight, the VP came up, untaped the drawing from my board, took it down to the president's office, who was E.J. Dukai at the time. Duke had my drawing taped to his wall above his desk, and he had the heads of all the departments in his office. And he said, I just talked to Textron. They had just bought Bell a few months before. And he said they gave me eight hundred thousand, and he said we're going to build that that uh, ship that's on the wall there that Mike designed, uh, and we got to do it in six months. Well, we started, formed a team, roped off an area in the hangar, made a secure area, and uh, we built it, and it flew in five months and uh, twenty-eight days. And first day of flight was September the seventh, nineteen sixty-five, and it lifted off the ground at. Amon Carter Field at our flight test facilities at Amon Carter Field in, uh, in, in, in Fort Worth. Yeah, I have been told by many, many Vietnam vets that if it hadn't been for the Cobra helicopter, uh, there'd be a lot less people walking in, on this earth. It's that it helped save a tremendous amount of lives over in Vietnam.